Velociraptor weighs about 30 pounds, which is 7 feet long and grows 3 feet tall. They are smart by dinosaur standards and have a sickle-shaped claw to finish off their dinner. Like we learned in the last episode of Animal Face-Off, raptors couldn't actually disembowel their prey. Instead, they poked and pried at the windpipe or jugular vein. They also probably hunted in packs, which made them even more dangerous. The ankylosaur is built like a tank. An adult bull can weigh six tons, stand four feet tall at the shoulder, and stretch 35 feet in length. What they lack in brains, they make up for in defenses. This beast may look like an easy meal for our raptors, but the back, neck, and head are covered in tough armor. Even the eyelids are hardened. And as if that wasn't enough, they also have a club on the end of their tails that can be swung at over 40 miles per hour with the force of two and a half tons. That's the weight of an average sized American car hitting in a small area. Now it's time for the face off. An ankylosaur is browsing on low growing plants in the plains. Nearby, a pack of deadly raptors is on the hunt, looking for prey. The scene is set for an encounter between a Hollywood star and a creature built like a tank. Whoa, that was not a fair fight at all. As our scenario showed, the raptors are simply too small to attack a full-grown ankylosaur. The raptor, being about the size of a turkey, is no match for that hefty tail club, and the armor is much too tough for the raptor's claws. In real life, Velociraptor was probably too smart to even consider taking on an adult ankylosaur. So perhaps the ankylosaur is impenetrable after all, right? Not exactly. You just have to catch them at the right time, when they're babies. Fossils prove that raptors did actually hunt baby ankylosaurs as their teeth are found littered around the remains of their victims. Baby ankylosaurs lacked the size advantage of the adults. They also had weaker armor and no tail club. So these guys make a much safer target for our velociraptors. Mm. 
now it's time for a more plausible face-off. A herd of ankylosaurs is browsing on low-growing shrubs in the plains. Nearby, a pair of velociraptors is once again out on the hunt. The scene is set again for an encounter between two formidable foes. How did the raptors win this scenario? After the pair had spotted the herd of ankylosaurs, the female raptor sets up an ambush further up the trail. Meanwhile, the male raptor tries to unsettle the herd. One infant finds safety in the hands of another adult, but another baby isn't so fortunate. Further up the trail, the female is ready, and the pair wrestle the baby down to the ground with the help of that sickle-shaped claw. Baby Ankylosaur is a goner. This little guy is no match for speed, smarts, and strength of the pack. But this teaches us one important lesson about the ancient world. When dinosaurs face off, it's seldom an even match. All right, we know that raptors were no match for a fully grown Ankylosaur, so this behemoth must have faced off with bigger, nastier predators. Tune in next time as we travel to North America to see the fight between Ankylosaurus and the most famous predator of all, Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs>